All right, we're at part two of the Riviera LS swap build and made a lot of progress and we've also found <laughs> this isn't gonna be as easy as we might have thought, but nothing ever is. So um, let's take a look and see what we got going on. So we got a LS2 motor here. This is just one that's got damage internally that uh, we're just using it for mock-up. We've got the 4L60 transmission bolted up to it and um, sorry we didn't get any video of that but uh, you know really it was just a matter of setting it in place and for the time being we literally have blocks underneath the front of the motor to the cross member holding it in place if you see here we've got a plumb bob down the center engine sitting center we took some measurements Back here, as you can see between the heater case and the back of the block from the original engine. And what we're trying to do is kind of get the bell housing placement kind of in the same plane that we had with the other engine. Let's go take a look from underneath. All right, so we've got the car up in the air. And as you can see, we've got a plumb bob here and we've got the center line of the engine pretty even with the center of the car. Uh, most GM cars tend to put the engines off a little bit to the passenger side, but what, one of the things that we've noticed on this one with the X-frame underneath here that everything's pretty well centered. Under the back, we have the original cross member in, and you can see the 4L60 mount is here. The Turbo 400 mount was way at the absolute back of the tranny. Um, so the issue that we're going to run into here Let's see if we can get some light on that is this tunnel this dark tunnel it's not very big there's not a lot of room in here um and the good news is the drive shaft doesn't move so we just need to get it centered in the tunnel and uh it should be fine there's a carrier bearing that mounts in here and then out to the back to the differential is, an, is a second short drive shaft with CV joints on it. You got those things on the floor here. So, anyways, that's kind of where we're at and um, some difficulty ahead. The other thing I didn't show you from up top was the exhaust manifold in the steering box clearance really sucks. So, what do you do? But what doesn't suck is our engine showed up. This is one of those uh, six liter GM crate engines. It comes with LS3 heads on it. Uh, it's got a flat top, six liter bottom end with LS3 heads. And then I think it's got a uh, LS6 cam in it. It's like 450 something horsepower. So that ought to work really good. And um, We'll keep you updated on what we're doing. Thanks for watching. You know, hit the like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Any suggestions? But uh, next step is we're going to get that engine, uh, the transmission secured here real quick. All right, so we got the transmission uh, cross member done, squared away. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, the tranny's really tight in the tunnel. This tunnel's pretty small, and we actually moved the engine back, this center line of the back of the block. We actually moved it back an inch. And the reason why is we need to fit a pan sump in here, and we need to figure something out. We tried finding the mid sump pan there's one out there but it's just a little too wide and, and it was just going to be too tight because this uh center link actually as you steer it moves forward and backwards a little bit so anyways at least we have a constant point uh for the transmission we can slide it a little bit so what we're working on next is engine mounts so we've got these other mounts here that would work really good these got these little ears that you weld to the frame but the problem is as you can see they don't hit the frame they're they're 90 percent 
behind the cross member. So we've got these other mounts up here that use a, a, a conventional small block Chevy mount and then we just need to make a pedestal here. So we're gonna, we've got these original frame mounts that need to come off the frame. Uh, I should have took those off before we even dropped the engine in here. So we're gonna do that next, raise the engine up, cut those things off and then uh, play around with some mounts and hopefully we'll have this thing sitting in the car here real soon.